Nasa sa sunod nato ba kay ari manguna siya magsugod ang atong kalambuhan o kalapusan. If the Bible says, as a man think in his heart, so is he. Okay? Kung sa ko nagipanguna-una ni mo, sa imong kasing-kasing, ang imong gituhuan, wow, oh, ka. Oh. Nakasabot mo? Kung magsika gunahuna nga pobre ka, pobre ka. Kung sige ka gunahuna nga anak ka sa ginoo, kung ang blessing and favor of God is upon you, God will bless you. You cannot do both. Nga miyong ka prosperity, kalambuan, pero ka magsigyo na kuna, magreklamo ka o kapilihan. Because as a man think in his heart, so is he. Because where the mind goes, listen, where the mind goes, the, the man follows. And that's the, the reason why it's very important na kanain mong mind masubmitted na dito sa mind of God. Hello? But the moment you become a child of God, ano sa mong muna kahinundong nga nahimong mong anak sa ginoo? Naibawa mo anak sa dihang ni ni ito o kaniya o ni dawat kaniya ng sinner's prayer kaniya nahimo ka anak sa Diyos. And the moment you become a child of God okay, the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Or the moment the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you become a child of God. When you become a child of God, you have the mind of Christ. Amen. And the Holy Spirit is inside of you. Naana si sa imong kasing-kasing. Naana si sa imong lawas. Pero ang imong mind, kinahanglan, ma-renew na siya. Kinahanglan, ma-submit na to the mind of God. Itagaan na ito because the Holy Spirit has its own mind. But kinahanglan, ang, ang Holy Spirit mo occupy sa na siya sa imong mind. And that's the reason why nga mubasa ka sa kulong sa kino. You fill your mind with the word of God. Because the food of your spirit, the food of the Holy Spirit inside of you is the word of God. Are you following me? So niyo niya si San Pablo in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16. Tanawa niyo siya yung Bible. Who has known the mind of the Lord? So as to instruct him. Kinsa man ko noon na kay baaw sa hunahuna sa Diyos. Para siya ma-instruksyonan. Imagine, so on maka-instruksyon dahil ka sa nilo. Nga po na sa Isaiah chapter 40 verse 13. Girepeat na ni Lord. During the time of Isaiah, wa pa si Jesus maari sa kalibutan. So no one can talk to the Lord can instruct to the Lord. Why? Jesus Christ has not yet come. But when Jesus Christ has come, He gave to us His Holy Spirit. He gave to us His mind. Hello. Yun siya. Who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct Him? But we have the mind of Christ. Basahin yung Bible. Naaba? Niingon si San Pablo, we have the mind of Christ. Na ako no nato na ang huna-huna. So, you know, kaya ba soon, because the Holy Spirit is living inside of us, He, he always goes with us. And wherever we go, He keeps on talking to us. And that's the reason why you have to intune your flesh, you have to intune your heart, your body, to the Spirit of God because constantly God is always speaking to you. Amen. And if you enjoy your life to the Lord, you can hear His voice. Are you following me? Amen. Ooh, oh, 
First Corinthians na siya. Sa Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. Tanawa ninyo. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. Ilipos. Okay. Chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. Ako basaho na. Ningon niya. In your relationship with one another, have the mindset as Jesus Christ. Okay. Sa ato ko nung pakibildo sa usap-usa, all of us should have the mindset of Jesus Christ. Mindset. So, it is a command and it is a desire of God na kinahalanta na atay mindset of Jesus Christ. Kung unsay ginahuna ni Lord, <laughs> na ako na sa imong unahuna. Gani, kikinahanglan, you have, ino si San Pablo, nga, we have to set our minds on the things above, not on the things on earth. Hello. Importante yung soon, yan naataan yung mindset. Again, our mind affects our whole being. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And that's the reason why Ingo si San Pablo do not be conformed to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Pattern. Ayaw sunod-sunod sa pattern. TikTok o on sa panadiha ng mga kailayan sa kalibutan but be renewed. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? O sa man ang mindset ni Lord? Na gusto niya nga mahimo na itong mindset. Remember, the mindset of God is contrary to your kanang gitawag human mindset. Kanang human flesh. Ikan niya itong flesh is so on, maging kontra ni Pirmi sa Spirit of the Lord. Bili ni gusto maminaw sa pulong sa Diyos. Masking wari kang worship ka ni Simba, ang imong una-una, tuas layo. Nga naman, you are living in the flesh because the Holy Spirit is not yet inside of you. But if the Holy Spirit is inside of you, your mind will be set to the things of God. Atong pagpaka ng ino. <laughs> Ingon niya si San Pablo sa Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 11. In verse 6 he said, Who being a nature of God, did not consider equality with God. Ang gusto sa ginoo ba? Ang mindset na ito. Listen carefully. We should have a selfless mind. Ang atong itong Lord, no? Okay? Diyos siya. Yeah. Jesus Christ was God. Is God. And is going and coming back as God. God siya in the beginning. God siya in the end. Because God has no beginning. And He has no end. As God, Jesus Christ has no mother or father. Because God the Father and Jesus Christ is one. So when Jesus Christ was not yet born as a flesh, He was already God. And He was in the Godhead when God created the heavens and the earth. Jesus Christ was by nature, very nature ni Lord Jesus was God. Pero when He came to earth, He did not consider equality with God. Selfless siya. Na naman, na ituyo ang Diyos, nga nung napakatao siya. Ang atong flesh, di ba, gusto ta mag haun Gusto ta nga, Nagi tayo authority. When Jesus came, He, he owns everything. <laughs> the Jesus kingdom was not of this world. He came to this world to bring His kingdom. And in order for Him to do that, He has to become man. What did siya? Pag-ingon kang Pilato, ako! Kada bang sana manghambog ba? 
namin, kitang tao magod, sa'yo maghambog ka, ha? mura kang ginoo. Yan eh, by nature, ang usang ka tao gusto mahimog Diyos. Hello? And that's why dictator came in. Because dictators want to be like God. Okay, but Jesus Christ did not consider equality with God. Nagpakatawag siya. No, atong, gin, ang itong ginoon, no? while he was in, on earth, listen carefully, ha? For three years, he has to eat. Ang Diyos di pa magbuto. But Jesus became man. He has to eat. He has to drink. He has to rest. He has to sleep. And he has to grow physically. Imagine how it is for a God man to 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 grow from child from child to adulthood. Okay. So atong ginoon na kay bawin siya uno sa ang pagka unsa nang kinaiya sa usa ka tawo. And that's the reason why Jesus can understand you. He's now in heaven. He can understand you what you are undergoing through. Why? He was before. Iman. Kamayo sa ginoono kay nagpakatawin siya na yun siyang tao para lang makasagot ka na to. Are you following me? Selfless kayo ang mind. Mawag siya ni gusto ni Lord na mind na itong makinundungan, na itong makinabuhi, selfless mind. Ikanwa ay so, ni Yundari. Okay? He made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Kasi ba't kasabot ani? Si Jesus na ay humble mind. Humility. By nature, it's so, kita mga tao, gusto ta mo lift up sa itong paulingon. And in the process, you'll become proud. And the Bible says, God resists the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Normally, mara ka rin pride, it's so, hindi nga kita. And normally, ka rin pride, pag naanay mga small successes sa itong kinabugi, we might wrongfully claim ourselves na because of you, you become who you are. I would like to tell you, your success is not because of you. It is because of God. And God is using some people and circumstances for you to become who you are right now. Your success is a contribution of many people and circumstances which God allowed in your life. Are you following me? Amen. But most often we forget that and we become proud. And God resists the proud but shows favor to the humble. And so sometimes God will allow things and circumstances in our life. Kaya laki-laki ta, sakit yun. Para mabalik ka niya. Because God is a loving God. He wants you to, be, to go back to the fold, to the flock. Is he has a humble heart, humble mind. <laughs> God's here, pero wa siya reputation. Instead, he the king. Arin niya sa kalibutan, he acted like a servant. Ano yung gusto ni Lord sa itong kinabuhi? Servant? Ano yung gusto ni Lord na kanil si Mahana will have a servant attitude? Dili. Kana ba tawo? Mura tang gan. Are you following me? Sa mga sirot simbahan nga mura tang gan. Ngayon ta kamo lang diha. Buhatan na ninyo. Imbis kitay mabuhat to follow the great commission. Allah, sugo-sugo ko lang na ito. Ah, kaning mga pastor, kamulay buhat niya. Eh baka iso ng Great Commission was entrusted not to the pastor, but to you. Ang pagpaka ng ino. Kinahanglan mo, grow up in that level. Okay? 
Sa bangko mo kasi gino, it's okay nga you are being fed. Kanugay na kasi gino, it's not anymore okay because God wants you to feed others already. Atong pakpaka ng gino. <laughs> Humble mind. Servant. Mind. Diba kay Soor? Usa sa mga butang ay nil sa gino, kanina atong disobedient mind. Kaneng atong non-submissive mind. It's okay, mga ka. Obey mo ni mo, pastor. Musubmit mo ni mo, pastor. It's okay, makaingon ka na <laughs> kung okay pa ang sitwasyon. Pero mo ba itong tayo nga mo na yung gusto o niya, sultihin ka si mong pastor, dilig lagi na mahayo o smana. That's where your submissive and humility can be found. Hello. Ewa kay Son, kung wapil ka si Mark, mga lagat ka sa Ginoo. Indil kita sa Ginoo sa atong self. Ano akong ego? Are you following me? Anong abot patak si Mark? Para lang tamang mag siya? Go lucky? Happy go lucky? Kisira sira? And the church just like a decoration of our life? Church life should be the main thing in our life. Christian life is, should be the center of our being. Because that's where the, the, the Word of God is being propagated. Hello? Are you following me? A humble mind. And Jesus wants us to have an obedient mind. And being found in verse 8, in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death. Death on the cross. Kaya ba kayo so obedience? Okay? Ang... <laughs> okay. Kaling obedient to that. Okay. Some scholars would say, your faith must be, you should not be afraid even dying for the Lord. Kamutaan ang unimo. Can you honestly now say, you would like to die for Jesus? your faith. Even if the people surrounding you is not willing to die for their faith. Are you willing to die for your faith? Ang mga Christians sa Afghanistan karoon ng ibiyaan sa US, some of them remained there and did not back out from their faith. Okay? It's become a casual thing now sa, sa Afghanistan ng mga Christian. Did I? Kimaw ka for a true Christian to live is in Christ but to die is gay. In the coming days, there will be more persecution to the Christians before his the rapture or before and after before the second coming, this is the second coming, persecution will increase. Okay? Are you willing to die for your faith? I'm for vaccination, pro vaccination. Nani akong gireguard tanang yun ang mga empleyado dari sa school na magpapakuna. Pero kay Bawa ka, kaning bakuna, gigamit ni. Murang tagpanong na, gitrain ka aning 666 system. Di ka, wag kay bakuna, wag kay card. Di ka kasulod. Nakasuway na mo? Kaon ko nung sa SM Road. Kana sa food court. O makakaon ba ka? Uwa kay vaccination card. 
Ano mga indoor, indoor dining room? Kita ang ba? vaccination card. As if the world is is para kuan, conditioning our mind. Hello. Mabot ang panahon nga di ka kasimba. Di ka kapalit. O kabalik ya. Di lang sa restaurant. It's okay pa ng restaurant nga naman. Restaurant mag-unig so on is a privilege. Yeah, mall is a privilege. Kapalit kung mangyapong ka. Ato lang ka sa carbon. Ka ng mga wheat market. Di lang sila mga kanang kakunado na baka. Okay. okay pa na. Akong diampong na dilim may tabo na pati na sa sindulan na market ngayon. Ay, so no very ma'am. O, kayo ba po na? Ano, ang gobyerno mangitag yung way Isang kayo pali Nga mabakunahan ka na Gani karon ikso on Yung mga kay gathering na 100 plus 60 to 100 kapit Patayo ang kag-permit na Bako lang ipirmahan last October 1 Last Friday October 1 By no less than Niyurama Anong nabot mga kodiha? Okay There will be a time na ang imong faith is tingat Obedient mata ni Lord Okay Obedient even unto death Now, kaning death be ready Did you receive physical death? Nasa may interpretation Kana bang Hallelujah Kana It's something na ang imong pagabuhaton katurang gisugo sa Ginoo not your flesh kaya tong mga flesh mo ngod igsuon dili gyud ang makapahimaya sa Dios okay and that's the reason why san pamba ni yo put to death the works of the flesh i imutang ipapatay ang trabaho sa imong lawas no nga uno okay and so gikinahanglan as far as works of the flesh is concerned we should be obedient nga it should be put to death biaan ato for the sake of the will and purposes of God so diingat dia si si san Juan, John 5.19 Ingin saya dia I, That I do nothing of my own But speak just what the Father has told me Si Jesus, while he was here on earth Ang iyang kipanuti, iyang kibuhat Wala siya magbuhat, wala siya magsunti Kung wala niya madunggan Gikan sa amahan From the Holy Spirit So what Jesus did While on earth was based on what he hear from the Holy Spirit. Hello? Dili ang iyang kaugalingong pangunaon, ha? Okay? Obedience siya. Kinala na atay, obedient mind. Why? Because obedience brings blessing. Ang tong pagpaka na gino. Balik yan po tayo obedience. Undo na natay commanded blessing, ang commanded blessing na to is based on our obedience. Ako ninyo? Amen. Okay. Ang ikaw pa igsuon. We should have an empowered mind. So nang empowered, iyo makita igsuon because of what he has done. Okay? Si Jesus na selfless mind, na say humble mind. Nasa obedient mind because he did this. Jesus Christ, ibu tak dia, okay. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue. 
acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord because Jesus has this kind of mind, a selfish mind, a humble mind, an obedient mind. God has given him, empowered him with authority and power from on high. And that's the reason why his name became the most powerful name in the world. Because Jesus Christ has this kind of mind that God wants us to have as his children. An empowered mind. In Hanglan, musikin sa itong mind ba? If we are a good follower of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have the authority from God. And when we pray, we should take that authority in our prayer. Using the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. And that's the reason why when we pray, this is how you should pray. Blah, blah, blah. Mauna isun sa imong mga prayer. And pray this in my name. Atong pagpaka ng ginaw. Because the name of Jesus is a very powerful name. I do not claim about this weather. I think prayer brigades nagi. The Lord told me to organize. Ako ma-feel yun. Every time mag-pray ta sa prayer brigade, maminaw yun ang rain. Kita mo, hindi ko mag-prayer. Kaya kami, pembro man aning prayer brigade. Mahunong ang ulan. Iligit kadugay ang ulan. Hello, is there a watchman? Can you mga prayer warriors, mga intercessor? You are called watchman. And when you pray, use the name of Jesus. We have to believe that God has empowered us because it's in His work. Okay? When you become a child of God, He has empowered you. As a matter of fact, when you become a child of God, Niyo si San Pablo. Listen carefully. Behold, okay, if you are a child of God, all things has become new. All things. Okay. The old has gone and the new has come. Meaning, when the Holy Spirit came to you, you become a child of God you have been given a new nature. Dili na ka children of the devil, God called you as children of God. And you have a new mind. Because you have a new nature. You have the nature of God inside of you. Because the Holy Spirit is inside of you. If God wants that Holy Spirit occupy your mind. Okay? And this new nature, kaning new nature na to, kaning new mind na to, is a divine nature. Nasa 2 Peter 1, 3. Ako nang ibalik-balik sa inyo because this divine nature is a divine power. And this divine power has been given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Second Peter 1 3. So God has given us His divine power <laughs> in all things regarding life. He trusts in Elisha. Are you following me? Basically, if you are a true child of God, you are a walking power. You are a career of God's presence. You are a career of the Spirit of God. Because you have become a child of God. Pero kinahanglan mo, grow up ka. You should be revealed as a true son. And that's the reason why si San Pablo, you just set your minds on the things above and not on the things on earth. Kasagaran mo na ito, mga Kristohanon, ang atong panghunahon na earthly pag-iapon. Yun ang ginoo, i-level up na. 
<laughs> set your mind on things above. And keep on set on and above. Ila kung lahat ng good, mura ka ng roller coaster ba? Ana, up, down, up, down. Gusto sa ginoo nga, up, 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 up. Now may gain down, pero kinahalan, up, 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 up. Are you following me? Iset niya. Ang good pasabot sa ginoo, be single-minded. When, when it comes to the things of God. Focus. You know, setting your mind on the things above doesn't diminish you become a person. As a matter of fact, it gives you authority. I was just surprised. I was invited to grace the occasion to attend the turnover of ceremony of generals in TNP Region 7 from General Brigadier General Montego to Brigadier General Vega. And I was invited. Hello. I, I went there because I was invited. I was surprised. Aminong maghayo. Ang linko na ko dito. Yan ang kamera-kamera ko. Video-video ba? Hello, wait. Grabe ka talas kayo mga mga guest pa. Yeah. Pag mention yun, nagsatang sa ni General Eliazar. Gili mo siya, that, that PNP chip. One, Police General, the top rank in the PNP. You mentioned it now. Blah, 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 blah. And thank you also for raising the occasion of Pastor Arturo Tangan. I was really shocked. <laughs> Anong na-appeal mga kuliha? Anong dimension mga kuliha? Ah, may kauban mga life posts. Okay? O sila dimension, only three of us were mentioned. Eh, pag soon ako is soon. <laughs> yeah. Sir, kung sa'yo yun ni mo, sir. So, I went there with some kind of authority. Wala ko mag-kuliha. Life posts, kanang mga, kanang mga kuliha ba? I went there is a life coach, a child of God. So, I was invited as a guest. So, I said, it's a pangani mo, sir. I am life coach, Pastor Arturo Tangal. Gilista nila. So, okay na, sir. Soon, soon, soon. Katawag ba? Wala ka, sir. Nagkakaitaw? Okay. Kaya baka iso, I don't know what God is speaking to me. The next week, I'll be having, we'll be having a, some kind of a courtesy call with the new PNP Regional Director in person. A courtesy call. By Tuesday, we'll be having a courtesy call with CCPO Director, the Cebu City City Director, Pusipino, uh, Colonel Pusipino Ligan. Karong Tuesday. Okay? When you set your minds about it, okay? God will bring you to where <laughs> you do not expect you to go. Kaya ba soon, the the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, the first 12 disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, the 12 was replaced by Matthias. They were preaching the gospel. Insignificant sila kaayo. Sabi ni mo, they were able to touch the life of a sinful God. Basically, it was the Lord Jesus Christ who touched the life of the sinful God. So, the centurion is some kind of like a ship of police in a police station. During the time of Jesus, when Jesus Christ died, he was a witness. Because it was his, it is, it was his people who killed Jesus. Centurion is my leader. 
Iyan mga tao may nagpalangsang dito sa cross. At itong centurion ni Saul, he was a good man. He was just for, forced to do things which is not good because in the military, you are to obey before you complain. As a matter of fact, you are not to complain in a military. Are you following me? But then the centurion was being preached with the gospel. And because of the word of God and the heart of the centurion, he used some people, mga ordinary people, to reach out to the centurion. To make the long story short, the centurion is all became born again. And there and then, napabaptize siya. And I don't believe katong centurion, he was promoted by his rank and brought to Rome where he affected a lot of officers in command. I mean, the kingdom of God is like a yeast, a leaven. But slowly, it penetrates the heart of Rome to the extent that Rome became a Christian nation, supposedly. Are you following me? Had it not been for the compromises of the, the traditional mga religious leaders, that it was before that the Christian movement became influential in the politics of Rome. But I say this time, okay? If you set your minds about, God will lead you somewhere else, which will fulfill your destiny as a child of God. Set ni mo. When you set your minds to things above, set gani is intentional. Dili lang itaw ka ng, ah, sa gusto na ako. Ah, kumaguhan, di ko. Di ko simba ko mag-uwan. Okay? Ay, init. Di ko. Ay, wag may pamiliti. Di ko. Hello? Ang ato pagka Christian, Christian ba? Kanabi tao, by feeling? No, God doesn't want you to live by feeling. He wants you to live by faith. And faith is intentional. Ngayon, ang ino, oh, do this, regardless of your feeling, do it! At itong pagpaka ng ino. Because we have all the reason not to with the things of God. But if you set your minds on things above, not on earthly things, maski pang magbunok na, mag-listen ang kalimutan, padayon niya kung ka sa pagsimbaw pang pagalagad sa ino. And very important, in order for you to set your mind on things above, Kinahanglan ang imong mind ma-renew per day kada adlaw. Dili pwede ang renewal sa imong mind once a month or once a week lang every Sunday. It should be every day because every day you keep on struggling, you keep on fighting the wars of the devil and the wars of the flesh. If you do not renew your mind on a daily basis, and the devil keeps you putting down, putting you down, putting you bad things in your mind. Eventually, you will be worn out. And then every Sunday, you make Sunday as your gas station. Hello. Malipay ka. Ay, Sunday na po. Pump up ka. Gusto sa ginunta, pump up ka every day. Para you will live every day a victorious life. Ato pagpaka na ginawa. Renewal of your mind. Sa kinahang lang, nana, i-renew ang imong mind kada adlaw. So kung renew ang imong mind kada adlaw, ready ka for a battle. Every day. Why? Because every day is a battle. Every day. Ayaw, ayaw ko na nga 
ang ginoo pang wins nila o pang sun nila. That's the reason why pray every day, read the Bible. 